Hi, I'm Paul from Heritage Electrical. This video is about linking a heat miser system onto an existing Valen E-Bus heating system. So this job was a full extension, a uh, new build from, uh, from scratch. It's got a three car garage, it's got a cinema room, and it's got uh, office and landing area, which we'll show you later. In the existing part of the house, the customer's got a Valen E-Bus boiler system in quite an advanced heating system in that part of the house he's paid for all the TRV valves to be fitted around on all the radiators so we wanted to keep that system seeing as though he's paid so much money for it so we've used a third party system which is heat miser which we use on all jobs um, Valent don't do a range of underfloor heating controls so heat miser we think do the best underfloor heating controls available so on this system uh, you've got your 10, 10 way manifold um, and as they've used a 10 mil pipe for doing the heating loops there is more of them the runs are probably shorter that we're going to have to use with a 10 mil pipe than what it would for a 15 16 mil pipe so here we've got the two toilets have got their own underfloor heating loop the landing has got three underfloor heating loops and the cinema room one two three four five so the cinema room being the furthest away and the size of the room as well they've got five heating loops in just for that section so even though we've got a 10-way manifold we've only controlling one two three four circuits so we've got 10 actuators only controlling four circuits so <clears throat> the landing actuators all these all these actuators are wired into a joint box up here uh, and then they go out to the heat miser unit. So one thermostat is controlling the four cinema room actuators and one thermostat is covering the three landing loops and then two thermostats, one in each toilet controlling the toilet, the temperature in the toilet. Here we've got the water pipes supply to the manifold from the boiler in the existing part of the house goes up to the pump which is controlled by our heat miser controller there is the 10-way manifold with the actuators pressure gauge and the pressure adjustments at the top so there's the heat miser unit um, you can see that we've got four thermostats coming in at the top, hard wired in, which are controlling the relays in this circuit board. And there's the outgoing sides, which are the, all the actuators. So these four here are the actuators for the cinema room, toilet, toilet and landing. We've got this supply here is for a zone valve. Um, in this case, we haven't got a zone valve. The zone valve would normally be on, normally be on the plumbing coming into the manifold. But as we've got all the actuators, there's no need for an additional zone valve. So we've used that zone valve connection, which is giving us a permanent live connection out to switch a relay in this board. So what we've done with the relay is we fit the relay because we need a normally open contact. So the board in the wiring center inside the house on the uh, the valent wiring center, which is a VR71, that reacts to a normally, uh, to a open signal. So um, in this case, if we wired it straight into the heat miser board, it would be a closed contact and it would switch the boiler off. When it's calling for heat, it would switch the boiler off. And then when it wasn't calling for heat, it would switch the boiler on. So it's we'd be working opposite. So what we've had to do is use the heat miser, a live a switch live out to a contactor, which is in the normally closed position. And then when it calls for heat, it opens the relay, which then fires the VR71 up, or which fires the boiler up inside the house. 